Yes, these tips are brilliant, absolutely brilliant. They will put you in the vibration of abundance and make you a much better magnet for money. Hello friends, this is Andrea Shulman again and welcome to another video. In today's video, we are gonna talk about five brilliant tips to attract money. I've put some in here you probably haven't heard of before, so if there are any of these that you think would be especially useful or ones that are unique that you haven't tried yet, please make sure to go ahead and let me know below in the comments. And today I will be announcing the $250 winner from last week's contest. If you wanna see if you were the one who was in alignment with this $250 cash prize, please make sure to go ahead and watch until the end. All right, brilliant tip number one to attract money is to make quick purchase decisions. If there is something that you know you're going to buy soon, right? So it's coming up, it's on the horizon, it either needs to get done or it's something that you know you're going to buy. Purchase it quickly, get it out of the way. Avoid deliberating. People often do this where they hem and haw on purchases. So I'm thinking about getting a car, maybe I'll get it, maybe I won't. Let me talk to a million people about it. Let me go over all of the possible scenarios. But somebody who attracts money buys things pretty quickly and doesn't spend a lot of time deliberating or wasting time with their purchases. Here's the deal, when you deliberate, when you nitpick, when you think about it and dwell on it, what you're really projecting out into the universe is uncertainty. And a lot of times people have this blanketed uncertainty about purchases. And what this conveys to the universe with the law of attraction is, I don't know if I have enough money for this. I don't know if I can afford it. This amount of money is a big deal to me. And when we put out that kind of a message, we really block money from coming our way. And so something that's very helpful for remedying this is just to make quick purchases. If you know you're gonna buy it, buy it and get it out of the way. And a pro tip here for this is to use Amazon. If you've got an Amazon Prime account, use that to make a lot of your quick purchases. If you know there's something that you need, just jump on in and get it out of the way. Being somebody who quickly takes action on purchases is in alignment with a message that says, I can afford it, I can get the things that I want easily, and this will allow things and money to come to you more easily. Now, tip number two is very close to tip number one on our brilliant tips here to attract money, but it has to do with bills and checks. Pay your bills and checks quickly. Don't hold on to them, don't wait. A lot of people are doing this, okay? So you get a bill in the mail and it sits on your desk and it doesn't get paid and you think about it and you worry about it and you concern over it and you stress over it and that is not the vibration we wanna be projecting at all when it comes to money. Train yourself to be someone who as soon as you get the bill, you pay it. This also translates to going out to eat. Sometimes you'll see this in a group when people go out to dinner. The check comes to the table and everyone kind of looks at it. Who's gonna pick it up? They think about it, they pick it up, they go over it, they fuss about it. You don't wanna be doing that. You don't wanna be nitpicking the amount of money on a tab. Just pick up your card and pay for the thing. Get it out of the way. Now as a pro tip for this one, if you really wanna goose up your money attraction when it comes to how you handle your bills and your finances, don't even look at it, just pay it. <laughs> so if the check comes for dinner, I just pay it. I give the server the card. I don't even go through and read through what was on the list. If a bill comes or an invoice comes, I just pay it. I don't think about it too much. I don't go through and nitpick what all they charge me for. I just go ahead and pay it. If I'm at the grocery store, I just run my card. I don't even look at the total. I just run the card. Some people are gonna be uncomfortable with that one because they're concerned, well, what if I get overcharged? Oh my goodness. If that's something that bothers you, here's something that I think may help. 
Okay, if you're concerned that maybe someone will overcharge me or they'll take advantage of me, please understand that things can go both ways. You can always be overcharged and you can also always be undercharged. And quite honestly, what most people are doing is that when they're undercharged, they, they pocket that. <laughs> but if they're overcharged, they want to complain. That's not good karma, okay? That's not good karma. What I like to do is just allow the universe to decide what's on the bill and I go ahead and pay it. Maybe they charge me too much, maybe they charge me too little. In the end, it's all gonna balance out karmically. What's important is that in that moment, I'm handling my money and my obligations very quickly, very expediently, very confidently. So in tip one, you wanna make sure that when you decide to make a purchase, go ahead and make it quickly. But for tip two here, if someone sends you a bill, an invoice, or drops a check at your table, just go ahead and pay it quickly. Oh, and if you're enjoying these tips so far, you will probably also enjoy last week's video because in last week's video, I talked about five foolish ways to block your abundance. And so if you like this video, make sure to go ahead and check that video next. I will, of course, go ahead and link it below in the description. All right, for our third brilliant tip to attract money, level up your purchases when you can and you want to. What do I mean by this? Well, um, it's very common that people get stuck in a vibratory level when it comes to money. So they get used to attracting a certain amount and they live at that lifestyle. And that filters down into all kinds of things, not just the money that they're receiving, but the kind of car that they drive, the kind of home that they live in, the kind of clothing that they wear, the kind of events that they go to, the kind of vacations that they take, all of it kind of resonates at the same vibratory level. Now, if you wanna bust through to the next vibratory level, something that you can do to facilitate this is to level up a purchase in something that's important to you. Okay, so let me give you an example of how this works. So the first time I tested this one out, I think was like five, maybe even six years ago. My husband needed to get a new car and he really wanted to get a Tesla. Now at the time, that was much higher of a level of an, ex of an expense for a car than he or I had ever gone for. We'd never done that quite of a level before. But something within me said, let's go ahead and try this. Let's level up this purchase and see if this purchase helps us elevate our money attracting game. And before I would have seen an expense like that to be something that brought a lot of money out of my pocket, but I had this inkling that if we just started resonating in the level of being Tesla drivers, that would help us accumulate more money. And indeed it absolutely did. So the purchase of the Tesla was quite expensive for us at the time, but I did notice that there was a sharp increase in the amount of money that we started making. And not only that, but when you level up a purchase like that, whether it's in your clothing, your home, your car, something somewhat significant, you start to think more like a person who has that thing. You start to become accustomed to having that thing. And since then, we've continued to improve the kind of cars we get, and my husband's now on his second Tesla because he's become accustomed to it, and now it's no big deal. We don't think of it as a big expense. It's become a normal expense. So leveling up your purchasing is something some people are worried about or concerned about doing because they feel like money is gonna fly away from them. But what it does to you on a vibratory level is it starts to make you think, feel, and behave like someone who can afford those things, making you a magnet for more of them. So if you have the money to level up something that you want to level up in, go ahead and do it. And please do note, I would really recommend do it if you can pay in cash, okay? So I'm not recommending that you go into debt because if we start putting things on debt, what we amplify is the message that I can't afford this and I need other people to pay for it for me and that's not something that you want to be doing. So what I'm talking about here is level up your purchases that you can make in cash. If there's a level you wanna get to when it comes to some aesthetic in your reality, go ahead and jump on in because what will end up happening is you'll become that kind of person. You'll become the Tesla driver. You'll become the person that lives in the gated community. You'll become the person that wears the fancy clothes. And when you become that person, a person like that attracts more money. Now, of course, if you are enjoying today's video, it really does help me out if you subscribe, like, comment, 
share, or do any combination of the above. It really does help me out here on this platform. And as always, I sincerely do appreciate it. All right, now my fourth brilliant tip here on how to attract more money is one that I've given before, but I'm gonna go ahead and say it loudly for the people in the back because it's one that I know people are hesitant to do, but oh my goodness, it makes such a difference. It is unconditional giving. Give some money away, give it just to give it, and watch what happens in your life. So many people are like holding on to their pennies. Like they are afraid to part with any little piece of the pie. And when you do that, the message that you put out into the universe is that, you know, I don't have enough. There's not enough to go around. But if you just start giving, give money freely. The message that you're saying is that money's no big deal. There's more than enough for all of us. I have so much, I can just give it away. And what will start to happen is you're gonna to start to magnetize to you money from all kinds of unexpected directions. So here's a way that I like to do this that you can go ahead and adopt as your own if you would like. I like to do this with friends and acquaintances. So if I'm in a position where there's an opportunity to pick up a check, pick up a tab, offer a ride, or if I see something that a friend may like and I can pick it up and buy it for them, I like to try and do that as much as I can. And I'm not saying that I go crazy and that I spend every day spending money on everyone because I don't, but I make it a habit of trying to reach out to somebody at least a few times a week, getting somebody something or picking something up for someone. And it doesn't necessarily have to be something big. We could be talking about something that only costs a couple dollars. It doesn't have to be that extravagant. But the trick with this is I just give it and that's it. I don't hope that the person offers to pay me back. I don't wait for the person to hook me up. And in fact, what you are gonna see is a lot of times the person that you gave it to is not the place that you will receive money back from. So you may give a gift to a friend over here or pick up a check for this friend over here and then somebody in the periphery comes and drops money in your lap or some unexpected rebate comes your way. Money will be returned to you. Just don't give it hoping that it's gonna come from one particular place. Instead, I just like to think of it as giving in a way of brightening someone's day you know if I can brighten someone's day a little bit I did my job that's as much as I need to be doing for some of you it may be helpful to think of a budget that you're comfortable with parting with you know and start small but what you're gonna start to notice is that the more that you just give money away the more of it really comes back and there's gonna be a lot of money coming to you from a lot of different directions so unconditional giving is something that some people may not be comfortable with doing, but trust me, if you just get in the habit of doing it, you are going to reap tremendous financial rewards. And we have one more brilliant tip here on how to attract money. But first, we do need to announce our winner from the $250 giveaway from last video and see who was in alignment with 250 bucks. And to see who the winner was, we're gonna go ahead and pass this over to my lovely assistant, Mary. Good morning, everyone. We've picked the winner by submitting the comments from the last video into a random comment picker. And the winner is Jamie Leinbach. If you are Jamie Leinbach, email me at the email in the description and I'll set you up to receive your $250. Merry Christmas. Congratulations to the winner. And if the winner is you, again, please make sure to contact Mary. Her information is below in the description. And now let's go ahead and jump into brilliant tip number five on how to attract money. Get a lot of money around you. Get a lot of money around you. And by money, I mean cash. You want cash around you. Lots of cash in your wallet, cash in your drawers, cash laying out cash all over the place. Some people might be worried someone might steal the money. And if that's a concern of yours, you will want to watch last week's video because I have a lot to say on worrying about people stealing your money. But if you just leave cash laying around, you are going to start to attract more of it. And for very good reason, you're going to start to become comfortable with money and you're going to be comfortable with having money around. You're comfortable with seeing money. 
something that you're comfortable with, you start to resonate with on a vibratory level and you become more of a match too. Additionally, if you have hangups about money and about being worried about money and that you don't have enough of money, having cash around you all the time is going to help quell and alleviate those fears. It's hard to think of something as hard to get or something that's difficult to obtain if it's around you all of the time. So for me personally, I leave hundreds like in my wallet, I leave hundreds in my office. I've got a drawer that's just got a bunch of singles in it that I'm always just reaching in to grab things. And I always see all these bills that are just floating around in there. Get money around you, get comfortable with it. The more comfortable you are with it, the more of it you're going to attract. And if you didn't get your free audio download from me yet, please make sure to do so because the code ends today. I am doing kind of a holiday giveaway. I have a whole library of downloads and courses. And as thanks for following my work, I am giving away $25 that you can use however you want on my site. You can get something for free or you can apply it to something larger. It's totally up to you. And the coupon code is love, L-O-V-E. It is closing today. And today is December 18th, 2021. Also, if you are new to my work, I would love to invite you to take my law of attraction test. If you would like to prove to yourself that you are the creator of your reality and what you think is what you create, I've designed a very simple five minute test to show you just how to do it. And to take that test now, go ahead and look below in the description for a link. Thank you so much for watching today's video on these five brilliant tips to attract more money. And of course, I look forward to bringing you another video soon. Bye-bye.